everyone. Here we are with Volker, the executive director at the RFDA. Thank you so much for talking to us today. This is such a pleasure to be here. Awesome. Ed, the holiday season's coming. You've got your tree up. I know we're be, we're feeling rather festive and because this is a really important time for us because we have so many activities happening. This is a really busy place this time of year. I've been here on a number of occasions and it's a really busy place all the time, but I know it really ramps up now. So tell us, Volker, what are some things that we can do to help you at this time of the year to help as many people as you can? Well, volunteering is a big part of it. Like yesterday we had a school bus full of young students in here making cookies. The cookies, we make thousands <laughs> of cookies, it seems like, and they all go out to food hampers, or we ship them north through some of our food runs to the remote First Nation community. So there's a lot of energy going into providing those special treats that we all expect in our own homes that we share with those that are a little bit less well off. And tell us, beyond volunteering, what else do you need? Well, financial support, as we all know, the reality is that food costs, transportation costs, fuels are really exasperating our ability to be able to, f to supply some of these things. And we've had to cut back some of the extra, some of the nutritious food that we want to be able to buy, we can't because the, the cost is exorbitant. So we are really reliant on people's financial support as well as you know, physically coming in and dropping off food. So uh, to make a financial donation, can we go to your website or what's the best way to do that? Yeah, on the website we have a number of options, uh, but we always really welcome, especially closer because we love when people pop in and we deal with the, the receding, but we like to meet the people who, and then we give them a little tour of the, of the facility that they say, this is where your money's going so that they understand and appreciate the magnitude of our, of our challenge. That's amazing. And so how about places to drop foods, like non-perishable items? I know you can bring them here. Is there anywhere else in our community where we could drop things off? Well, sometimes, because we have so many food bank members, if you're affiliated with the food bank, you can take it straight to them, and which is a great thing. There are 28, 30 different food banks here in Thunder Bay. But otherwise, we're usually here. We're now open pretty much seven days of the week, it seems like it anyway. The, but during the business hours of Monday to Friday here, at, between 8.30 and 5, we're, we're always here. But I think we can probably make arrangements, or a lot of people call and they say, can you pick up? The schools are great for that. If the schools are busy doing a food drive, call us and we'll send one of our trucks and our drivers and we'll pick it up. And I love going because I take photo ops of all the kids. That's awesome. Now we were talking before about some hampers for singles, couples. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, this is an important program we've done for the last few years. There is a segment of our population that is excluded from the traditional Christmas hamper program, and so we've taken that on, which is the single individuals, the, the seniors, and the couples who don't meet the criteria. So if they phone 211 or they, they get on our list, we make arrangements. So we're looking at about 1,500 hampers uh, that are going out, and we have a great crew of people, and we're always looking for more people to help with that to put the pampers together so that at Christmas time they can enjoy some of the extras. That is wonderful. I have to say on behalf of our community, wow, the work you do is amazing. So thank you for that for sure. Come in and volunteer, give your time and uh, donate. It's really important, but it's so important that we stay connected. It's amazing. Well, for Shaw Spotlight, I'm Carrie Berlinquit.